guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting very, very festive as I've got a Christmas DIY to share with you guys and I'm going to say straight out that this was a lot more difficult to kind of film and put together than I'd anticipated just because I wasn't 100% prepared when I pulled together all the materials and started filming. I was missing a couple of bits and pieces and also the card that I was trying to cut through was far too thick. But, just gonna show you what it is. It's an advent calendar. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this is um, a 12 day advent calendar and I thought this would make a really great gift for a loved one or you know for one of your best friends and I thought it was really great for putting in say chocolates or little cute snacks and that sort of thing or else beauty products so the way that I've done this is using tabs and little doors that close with these ribbons here and I just think it looks really cute it's all very gold and Christmassy feeling I did run out of white ribbon so I had to use a bit of gold ribbon in the end but I still think it looks kind of nice with the contrast and when you open them up Side. So it's kind of filled with the silver foil and then you can pull out the little goodies. So, and there's chocolate in this one. Yum! <laughs> so, yeah, that's um, so this is the DIY that I'm going to be showing you guys today. If you were interested in learning how to make this, then keep on watching. What you'll need is a box, then you also need some corrugated card, a hot glue gun some ribbon, some stick on numbers, a large piece of foam board, some chocolates or small beauty bits that you want to put inside the advent calendar, a craft knife, a ruler or a tape measure. I forgot my ruler so I'm using a tape measure for this one and then also some metallic foil. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to rule out and start getting an outline for each of the windows for your advent calendar. So I decided to make an advent calendar with 12 squares. What I did was I tried to equally space these out. As you can see, I really did this quite roughly because I didn't have a ruler, so I struggled along with my measuring tape, but what I wanted was three along and then four down. And I've included a one and a half centimeter space in between each of the windows. The reason why I'm leaving this gap is so that I can include a very small window to pass through the ribbon, which is going to act as the um, closure for each of the windows. Once you've measured out all of your windows widthwise and lengthwise, then you wanna start drawing the lines. So I used a piece of particle board to do this obviously and then you want to start cutting it out with a craft knife and I kind of decided while I was actually working on this because I used a blue pen that I would spray paint my box gold. So once I carved out all of the windows I went and spray painted the top of this gold and then I let it dry overnight. The next step you will need to do is you need to start cutting out the doors that are going to sit in each of those windows. So the way that I've done this is I've included some space so that there can be a tab on one side. Now again, I didn't use a lot of precision with this, but you can definitely do so. So I just lined up the card next to each window, cut out the shape, and then I made sure to leave a gap on the left that would be where the tab would go. Then on the opposite end to the tab, I've used a craft knife to cut a slit which I'm going to thread a ribbon through. Once I had cut out the shape for the door, I turned the lid over and then I used a hot glue gun to glue the tab to the inside of the lid and then you turn it back over and you can see you can loop the ribbon through and then tie it up. Then I use some silver stickers that I picked up from a dollar store, like Hot Dollar or something like that, and I just numbered each of the windows in succession. And then I just continued cutting out these doors for every single window and glue gunning them until I finished. Next what we're going to be doing is creating the dividers that will sit inside the box for each of the different days of the month. So I purchased some black foam board to do this with. It's very easy to work with, very easy to cut. 
So what I've done is I've just been very, very rough with my measurements. You could, of course, use a ruler, uh, but I didn't have one. The easiest way to do this is to slice partitions into each of the vertical and horizontal dividers so that they can slot in easily together. The way that I've chosen to do mine is all of the squares on my advent calendar are practically the same size so I've just really measured it quite equally and you'll see what I've done is I've used my measuring tape just to mark out where each of the partitions will need to be. To actually cut the divider partitions, what I did was I used a craft knife and then I used some scissors just to widen them up so that they would fit easily together. Once I completed the dividers, what I did was I stuffed each of the cubbies or days within the advent calendar with a metallic shred foil and then this is sort of when you can start dropping in all of the different bits and pieces or the different gifts that you're going to be giving for Christmas. So the types of things that I thought were really great is obviously chocolate because who doesn't love chocolate and I've also thrown a few beauty bits in there as well. how I put together this advent calendar. As you can see, it's a pretty easy process. It just does take a little bit of time. I love the fact that you can just pull this off and it kind of reveals everything inside and it just makes it very, very easy to drop items in. Do let me know in the comments box below if you were going to be attempting to make this. And I'll actually put a link down to Flo De Force's Christmas advent calendar video as that was kind of what inspired me to try it this year, but give it a go and put my own little spin on it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time. Bye.